In an earlier video, we looked at trying to charge the supercapacitor. We ran into a problem though, and that was one of these alligator clip uh, cables that I got. Uh, I got a kit. I got a whole bunch of these. They didn't cost a terrible amount, and uh, for the most part, I really don't have much problem with them. The problem I had though was we need high current when we are going to charge a supercapacitor, and these were not able to provide that and it's uh, pretty obvious why. So we have the uh, wire with the insulation over it and it looks like they just took the wire and tucked it under the uh, insulation in between the insulation and the alligator clip and then I crimped it down. You can see some of the uh, strands right there. I think you can see it. You can definitely feel it right there. So in any case it just like tucked under there and then they crimped down the insulation. In comparison, here is my uh, power supply cable, and so to uh, remove these, I'll just show you really quick. I just take my uh, screwdriver, it's about the right thickness, and just clamp them on there, get it wide, and then this insulation, you just uh, work it, will uh, slide on and off pretty easily right there. So you can see here with the uh, power supply alligator clip. I get that screwdriver out of the way. You can actually see the uh, wire there so they still clamp down on the insulation but you can see the wire and then it's coated in solder and the solder is on the alligator clip. So the more surface area metal is in contact with each other and the solder and whatnot the uh, less resistance you'll have. My alternative I did this before I even looked at the uh, power supply version. I took the uh, wire and stripped it. So that's all the uh, wire going in there. There's no solder though and uh, I didn't even think to solder it. But I crimped it where there's still metal wire. And uh, there we go. This one you can see a lot easier. So you just push down uh, one tab. I used a uh, pair of pliers and then I pushed down the other tab and uh, got them a little bit tight and then I pressed down on both of them at the same time with the pliers and we got a pretty good connection right there. So here you can see we have the multimeter set to measure resistance and you can see movement really affects the uh, resistance and I think this is my better cable so we're hovering around one to uh, two ohms uh, basically right there. Let's uh, try clipping the other cable so here is the other cable from that kit and you can see especially as you're uh, moving it, if you move it right, the uh, resistance gets pretty high. It uh, will pop up to about uh, 14 ohms for a period of time if you do it right. I saw 31 for a little bit but uh, something might have came loose. And in comparison here is the cable that I made. So I was shifting the other one around. This is a little more stiff, can't uh, bend it around as much. But there you can see we have quite a bit lower resistance right there. And finally we'll look at the uh, red alligator clip from the power supply. So it has a banana plug over there, the uh, male end. And so I'll have to hold it with my finger and it's a lot lower than that. There we go. So we got a pretty good connection there. Ooh, about uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.6 ohms it looks like. The way that we are connecting these in any case. And uh, not sure how accurate the uh, multimeter is, but uh, this is good enough for now. We can see it was a lot better if I would have used the cable that I made instead of trying to use the uh, pre-made alligator clips right here. So when you're dealing with low voltages, going to turn this off, which you do when you have a power supply set to a low voltage that is charging a supercapacitor that's getting close to the same voltage, the uh, voltage across the uh, wiring is the uh, voltage difference and so if they're only about half of a volt different that voltage is going across the wire and uh, so one ohm of resistance you're not going to get uh, more than about 0.5 amps of current if you're lucky and uh, so the more resistance even less current but in uh, any case hopefully you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen click like subscribe the bell all that if you can donate please do I have links down below 
but otherwise watching videos helps a lot. Thanks for that. I'll see you in the next video.